Thousands of people took to the streets of Tyneside for the 40th anniversary of the Great North Run. Last year's event was cancelled due to the coronavirus pandemic, and this year's half marathon route has been altered to aid in social distancing. Participants begun and end their journey in Newcastle rather than South Shields. The traditional mass start was being replaced by staggered time slots for the world's largest half marathon. According to the Great North Run Company, approximately 57,000 people participated and raised millions of pounds for charity. Kenyan Helen O'Biri won the elite women's race in 1 hour 7 minutes and 42 seconds, beating out Great Britain's Eilish McColgan by 6 seconds. McColgan of Scotland was attempting to repeat her mother Liz's three victories at the event in the 1990s. Charlotte Perdue of the United Kingdom finished third. In recognition of the health services efforts during the pandemic, four NHS employees, a cardiologist, an occupational health worker, and two nurses, were invited to participate in the race. Sir Brendan Foster, who helped launch the event in 1981, said organizing this year's run was a tough task. It's been really difficult. For the last 18 months, the whole nation and world have had awful times, the pandemic has separated people, but the Great North Run is all about being together. When the vaccine came around, we started thinking maybe we can stage it this year, so we made all kinds of contingency plans. Here we are. It's different. It's a one-off, Sir Brendan Foster said. A number of elite athletes are also competing, including Scotland's Eilish McColgan, who hopes to follow in the footsteps of her mother Liz, who won three times in the 1990s.